Hey ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is LaShonda and today I'm going to be showing you guys my easy podcasting setup. You'll see everybody is coming out with this podcast. Everybody has a podcast now and you're like, you know what? I'm thinking about starting a podcast. You're just curious to what you need. You're you're kind of in that like inspirational space where you're like watching everybody else's podcasting setup. And I'm telling you, it's really easy. Like I don't have a, a really complicated setup and I want to show you guys my setup today. I'm going to take you behind the scenes of how I record my podcast or what I use to report, record my podcast and things like that. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's start off with my recording equipment. I don't have a lot of recording equipment. I do have a video podcast. So my podcast equipment may be more than what you will need. If you're only doing audio, then I'm going to show you the equipment I use just for audio. But for a video podcast, this is what I have. I'm going to turn the screen real quick. So this is all I use to record my podcast with the video portion. I use this ring light right here, which I have... I have the link to all of these different things in my description box. So if you want to purchase any of my podcast setup equipment, I will have it available for you. But I have this spring light that I use and it's adjustable so I can like raise it up and down. I also have this tripod and attached to the tripod is like this um, phone holder. So I record everything with my phone. And so this is very useful because you can detach this and put something else on here. But this is also adjustable. You can bring, you know, you can bring it up or down and adjust it to the height that you need it to be. And so this is what I use as far as recording my videos and getting the actual quality that I want. And then as far as the actual recording of my podcast, I use a Blue Yeti mic, this right here. And I also use a pop filter. It keeps your words from like popping on the audio. And so it almost like softens your voice or softens your words so that when you say P's and B's and like just bold letters, it doesn't come off as too much in the mic or in the actual mic. This is also in the description box if you're interested in that. You can turn the volume on, you can mute it, you can unmute it. It also has different settings on the back right here where if you are co-hosting, I don't remember the actual ones. I just keep it set on the one that I'm using for solo podcasters. But they have it where if you're trying to get more than one person to be able to speak through this, like for example, if you want one person on this side of the mic and then one person on this side of the mic, and maybe y'all having an interview and the mic is in the middle, then it will literally like, it will record from both sides. The way I have it right now, it only records from this way. So it doesn't capture any audio coming from this side of the mic. It's only from right here, since it's only just me. And then they also have a setting where if you want the entire mic to work, maybe you're having a group podcasting um, situation going on, then the entire mic will function to record everything that's going on around. But for the solo mic, or for the solo setting, that's really the only one that I find that I need to use because I'm the only person on my podcast, so I don't have to worry about like changing my setting. And then also with this, it came with this cord. And basically what you do is you take this cord and you plug it up to the bottom of this, and then you plug this side up into your computer or your laptop. And this is how you actually use your podcast mic for your computer. And then some headphones. Headphones, this makes it easier for you to hear yourself when you are recording your podcast episodes. You can kind of hear what's going on. You can literally hear your voice in the headphones. And you can also play back your podcast in your headphones and things like that. And it just, for me, I personally like hearing myself when I'm talking. I don't know why. I mean, obviously you can hear yourself like that. But it's something about hearing yourself in your, in your headphones that just makes it different for me. So headphones, your podcast mic, and then I'm going to show you guys my actual setup, like my behind the scenes setup, because this is done on purpose. Like this setup was intentionally made for video creation. And so I want to just show you this. And this is just for people that are doing podcasts or video 
for their podcast and they are curious about the type of background that they want. So before I move on to the next topic, I do wanna let you know that a part of the setup is also your background, which in the next topic, I'm gonna cover my background and what I have going on. But you wanna make sure that you have a room where it's not an echo going on. You wanna make sure that you're kind of confined. You wanna make sure that there's not a lot of people talking because one thing I will say about my mic, it picks up everything. Like if my kids are laughing downstairs, my mic will pick it up. And it's crazy, but it does, it's very sensitive. And so I personally like to record in the early morning before everything starts, like everyone starts waking up and things start happening. Or I like to record like when I know there's not a lot of people in the house because once everybody gets home from work and things like that, it can get a little noisy. So that is just a little quick tip that I would like to share with you guys before I move on to the actual setup process. Another quick thing that I want to add as technically a part of my equipment is this camera remote. And I'm actually using it right now. And that's what made me be like, oh, I forgot to mention this. The camera remote is really, really important because if you have your video, well, it's only, it's only important if you're doing video podcasting. Let me say that. Because if you're doing video and your camera is like across the room somewhere or not in touch, like you're not in a distance where you can like hit the record button. This is gonna be very useful because all you have to do is hit the button, it's Bluetooth connected, and you can start recording, you can stop it, you can start it again, you can take your thumbnail photos with this and everything. So this is also technically a part of my equipment for my podcast. Moving on, I wanna show you real quick my setup. So let me flip the screen real quick. Okay, so this is actually my office area. I have a business, I have a planner business. And so I line my business planners right here. It's called Brand Planners for anyone that's interested. And I just basically decorated my office area so that when I record my video content, it has something aesthetically pleasing about the background. Sorry, it's dark. It's like really ugly outside. It's supposed to snow today. And so it's like just not the best lighting, but this is my background. So that way, whenever I record my videos, it has a nice aesthetic behind me. People can, and I hear people like they always, I had someone actually reach out to me about my planners because they watched one of my videos and they were like, what's those planners in the background? Like what's, what's going on there? And I actually gained a client just from having my background showcase my business. So the reason why I'm even bringing that up is because if you have the ability to do it, make sure that your background is something appealing. Like I wouldn't have like just a bare wall or too much going on in the background. Like if you can't, if you're doing a podcast for your business, try to set up your background where it's aesthetically pleasing. It can still be simple. Just have something nice because if people are going to be listening to you and watching you on your podcast, you want them to have something nice in the background that's not distracting, but intriguing and just kind of makes you look more professional in my opinion. As far as the software that I use to actually record my podcast, I use a software called Audacity. I'll put the link in the description box below. It is free 99. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's free to use and it's really easy to use. It is a learning curve. I recommend you watch a tutorial on how like just the basics of using it, but that's how I record my actual audio for my podcast. And Simple enough, that's how I recorded my intro. I did my intro where I basically like talked the intro, explaining what the podcast is about, put music behind it, and then that was it. So it's really easy to use, and that's what platform I use to record. So I'm going to end this video with some podcast starting tips. So if you are just starting your podcast and you're like, you know what, I really want to do this. I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. The first thing you want to do is start with what you have. Don't break the bank trying to start a podcast. It can really be simple. Even if you need to start with some headphones and just make sure that they're not like moving around for noise purposes, you can get perfect audio. You can get perfectly fine audio just using the this part, the audio part on your headphone. If you cannot afford to buy a Blue Yeti mic, I personally pay like about $100 for my Blue Yeti. But if that's out of the budget, then start with headphones, get used to podcasting in general, and then move on from there. Start with what you have. Another thing, and I've already hit on this before, just make sure you have an aesthetically pleasing background. It doesn't have to be complicated. It could be simple. Just 
Be intentional about what is behind your video if you're doing video. Now, if you're doing podcasting, like just audio, then that don't even apply to you because you can show up in your pajamas and bust out some podcast episodes. A personal tip for me is record early in the morning or late at night. If you have a podcast mic like me, the podcast mic is really, really sensitive to noise. So like when I start hearing buses, like school buses going down the street in my neighborhood or the garbage truck or just random car, like you can hear it in my mic, believe it or not. And also you can hear people like talking outside. You can hear people downstairs. So it may be better, like if you have young kids that don't, they're not at an age where you can kind of get them to be quiet so that you can record your podcast or something like that. It may be better if you do it in the early morning or late at night when everybody is asleep. <laughs> everybody in the house is asleep. The neighbors are asleep. Ain't nobody really driving like that. So you don't have to worry about a lot of noise being detected through your mic. I found that that was really, really helpful for me to record early in the morning before everybody starts waking up. So that's a really good tip that I want to give you guys. And if you can, the last tip is warn people in the house if you're about to record a podcast. My kids are 9 and 11, and I know that if I didn't tell them I was recording a podcast, who knows what you would hear from them. But I let them know, like, hey, I'm about to record a podcast, so you guys just kind of, like, keep it down. And they keep it down. Like, I don't have any issues out of them after that. Sometimes they may be about to come to my room if I don't tell them. Like, maybe they're asleep and they happen to hear or hear me talking, they know that I'm recording a podcast, so they don't they don't mess with me, and they'll tell me like, oh, I heard you when they're recording something, so I just decided to wait, and I really appreciate that. Sometimes people may be loud because they just don't know that you're recording, so sometimes it's really helpful if you just tell everybody in the house like, hey, I'm about to be recording for the next hour, like, can you like kind of keep it down for the hour so that it doesn't be, de so that your noise isn't detected by the mic and i mean for the most part i don't see why they would have a problem with that right unless you just anyways <laughs> but that's pretty much it i hope this was helpful for you guys i wanted this to be a really quick and simple podcast behind the scenes setup video i don't have a lot i don't use a lot and it gets the job done if you would like to check out my podcast because i do have a business podcast it's called the first year business podcast all you have to do is click the icon or click the link below and I have it plugged all throughout like my channel or whatever. So just check that out and you can, if you're a first year business owner or you're a new business owner and you're looking for tips, that will be really helpful for you to check out and you'll be able to actually see my podcast in like the act, like my actual, you won't see the setup, but you'll see what it looks like when I do my podcast episodes. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.